Welcome to Fun Trip Garage. It's your boy Joey. Like, rate, subscribe, comment. You know, make me feel wanted, dislike. Tell me you hate it. Tell me you like it. I don't know. Tell me things I can do better. Things I do worse. Tell me I suck. I don't care. But updates. Had major e eel oil leak issues. I forgot, I still need to swap this valve cover. Uh, at first I was running it, it runs a PCV valve. In 2004 they got rid of that and it's just basically a hose to the intake. So it doesn't match up. I have to plug this so I don't have a vacuum leak. And that was just a big gaping hole. Uh, when we were installing this, my jack really sucks. And maybe it's just because it was cold when we would drop it down in there going down it slammed a couple times so jarred the oil pan gasket around and then the last thing the oil pressure sensor which had it not been cold had I more time I would have changed all the sensors all the gaskets but uh it was rusted and I didn't they didn't notice so the top of the plug broke off and there were all sorts of little holes in the top I should go find it sitting in the garage uh, yes so oil full pressure squirting out the back of the motor and a hundred miles I would lose about five quarts of oil so that's how bad it was uh, fixed all those things I've gone about 200 miles let's double check this here Doo -doo -doo. Uh, let me wipe it off. Wipe it off again. Hard to tell. Because all that white milky stuff, the oil is actually good, real good, still real clean, full, still full, and I put about 250 miles on it, so I'm pretty happy. Not exactly sure why I'm getting all that white milky stuff though. I do know it's kind of common on this engine from working at the lube shop. I oftentimes find it. In the oil cap as you see just a little bit of moisture something I will google one of these days uh, this week I'm going to try and gather up all my scrap metal scrap all my crap uh, go to an exhaust shop right now it's basically open headers it's got like 12 inch or 24 inch cherry bombs that are half inch too big so they're just kind of sitting on there um, it quite quite it's down at low rpm but when you're on a high rpm it's really loud which is cool except it's louder than i want at low rpms and it exits right under my feet so my feet vibrate a lot so what I'm thinking is, I still have the Y pipe, I cut out the cats. One was totally empty, the other one was normal. I'm going to see if they can't weld in a piece of test pipe, or just a piece of pipe, connect it all back together, then put on a universal cat and connect up to the rest of my exhaust for now. Something simple, cheap, until I replace my gas tank with the center mount and run new lines and everything yeah but anyways motors running great transmission's still funky but I believe that's either a computer issue which now that I'm thinking about I could pull that off clean the plugs plug it back in or it's a wiring issue and I'm 
leaning more towards computer or wiring because if you look here that's the computer this is the fuse box you look here there's my big ass mud tire I don't have any inner wheel wells because they're rubbing too much on the tires and my transmission stopped working properly during one of the big snowstorms so I'm thinking salt snow yucky got into the wires somewhere and broke it and if you look at pretty much all my wires you can see all the salt corrosion on everything so that's one of my, my projects uh, I do just want to change to the Holly Terminator X because then I can tune everything I'll have a brand new wiring harness And then I also want to, what was the other thing I wanted to do? Oh, there is a standalone controller for the 6L80 and 8L80, I believe. So that's the transmission I really want to get. Because it's heavy duty. And the 6 or 8 gears, speeds however you want to say it, will help with my long road days of travel I want to do. Like I really want to go down to Florida this summer, see my friend Sophia. She moved down there a couple of, not a couple of years, actually about a year ago now. Uh, let's see, I definitely want to go to California this winter. Maybe Mexico, we'll see how everything goes. And I just want to start making a lot of really long road trips. And 8 speeds would be a lot better than 4 speeds with only 1 overdrive. I believe the 8 and 6 speeds have 2 overdrives each. I'll have to double check. Not for sure. But anyways, yeah. That's my updates. Our rear brakes still don't work. I cleaned it. I did get the bleeder working properly. I believe it's this. The proportioning valve, prop valve, combo valve, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go to the junkyard. I'm going to grab one, hoping it's good. Hasn't been triggered. And then I think that'll just make my rakes work. And if not, I'll see about buying a new one, or taking it to a shop, but we'll see, we'll see. We got time, front brakes are working for now. I do need to replace all the brake pads soon. Um, definitely, oh. I can definitely get rid of this now, because this motor does not have provisions for the block heater, which I never use, didn't really need to. Motors are running great. Minus the last time I had the intake off to do the oil pressure sensor. Um, I did something wrong and now the knock sensors don't work so it either adds extra fuel or retards the timing a little bit so it's not as fuel efficient. And it doesn't sound as good, run as good. So I'm going to try and fix that now. That's why the intake's not on. Uh, gonna get this done. I'll edit this video real quick, upload it. Anyways, yeah, this is me, your boy Joey. Just do it because you never know. Come on now, I replaced the whole engine, transmission, flip the transfer case out, put it back in, put in all new wires, not all new wires, while I reconnected all the wires. And my truck's running again. So yeah. Not this weekend, maybe next weekend I'm going to pull apart that old motor transmission. Go through that motor a little bit more. We'll see though. Anyways, I need to get this done. I got work tonight.
Peace out. Do something, because you never know. Mike says, like, rate, comment, subscribe. Watch a new video. Subscribe. I don't know. Figure it out. Meow, meow, meow.